Hey guys, Angler here. Welcome back to Bait and Kato's Origins. In the last part, we made it to the sewers under Mintaka, and in this part, we'll go through to the top of Mintaka. Well, there's our escape route. Really, Gilo? <laughs> Basically, all I was saying is that we have a dash gauge, and if it hits red, we'll get tired. And if you enter a battle on a red gauge, it's not good. So I can't get to the treasures, which sucks. Then again, I don't think the treasure here is much good anyway. What a guy. I don't know why they just leave treasure in the cells, but they're lost. So here we are at Mintaka. <coughs> Getting here was such a journey in the first game, but here we already are. We blew it. The sun came up while we were dragging our heels down there. Mm. And look at that. It's, it's just, just like, like the person fellow said. said. We'll, we'll have, have trouble, trouble getting past security this, this time. Perhaps, Perhaps we should just hide out in the sewers for a while. What, what better, better place to spend some quality time, time than the darkest, darkest dankest, rankest ditch in town? I agree with Gilo. That sounds lovely. You don't have to be sarcastic. Now what are we gonna do? You're right. We should head out into Mintaka. It's only a matter of time until they find us, whether we're up here or down there. Let's just do whatever it takes to reach the port. There should be a Skyliner leaving for Hasole soon. Hasole? We're going to Hasole? That wasn't in the first game. That's right. We're going home. So he's from a place that didn't exist in the first game. Can you think of a better place to hide out than Sheraton? I guess. Yeah, it doesn't see much traffic. And I never told the service where I'm from, so they'd never think to look in Hasselay. Hasselay, I, I don't want, want to go there. How are we even going, going to get, get on the liner? liner? They're, They're sure, sure to spot us. Staying here isn't any different, is it? We need to do whatever it takes to get out of the Empire. Let's just head for the port. Try to think positive. We'll worry about boarding the ship when we get there. dirty and smelly down there, and I really don't want to go back. Ugh, really soggy. I also like I'm not making comments on this stuff until like hours after I see it. There's some beast in the Nihal Desert. Huh! That's us! That's funny. And yes, Soggy really is only 15. So now we gain control over Gilo. So 
so let's see what Gilo comes with. Not bad, but I don't want him to use armor, because armor's terrible, as I've already said. Alright, that's fine. Right now, we just gotta break for the port, so we'll go over there. some combos and take him out. So, Gilo's the low defense, high offense. go relay combo basically when you end a combo with a finisher and start with a level of an attack you can do a chain that does tons of damage and then it just gave me glyphs on there that's nice I love healing items. This quad Hilo. That's not nice. Well, Cliff's under finished him off anyway. You win! Not a bad workout. We have to get this guy something. We have to go get him some Machina. Machina. Machina oil or something. So, to get that, we have to go to Liu's house. Or at least what was Liu's house. So, Liud's mother's educating the kids. Oh yeah, Liud's only the same age as Callus, so he wouldn't have been born yet.
I guess she's fine with us being here, but... Oh, look! She came back! Let's take it. And let's take some more. So we can take the mocking away while after that. So now we can give it to that guy who needs to get the pod to move. It's a good thing the soldiers are stupid or that would have been so bad. We have some mocking oil. And he gives us taunt in return. Get something from Liud's mom, I think. If yeah, there's a guy up here. And when we talk to him, he falls. Even call him Gonzo. Thief extraordinaire. Even though all we had to do was talk to him and he fell flat on his face. Anyway, we want to keep going down from the roof to, well, get to where we want to go, but. I think we should go and watch whatever scene was going on first. So I guess we get better armor for Gilo. Not that I'm gonna use it, but it's there. Just keep dashing. <laughs> Stab me with that fork. <laughs> well, I guess all we got from that is a hundred gold, but still, it's a pretty amusing scene to see. being sad. Money isn't really useful in this game. Because, I mean, you get all the best weapons and healing items late game from enemy drops. So, 
there's not much of a point to buy stuff unless you're ready to start a game. Which I guess is fine, because money's actually really hard to get in this game without the rare pictures you can sell off and get like 20k for. Second thought, I think I might have just gone the entirely wrong way. Well, not entirely, but I mean, I don't think I can go down from here, and I'm pretty sure I wanted to go the other way anyway. How'd that keep this a treasure chest? Anyway, where we wanted to go is like, we want to jump off here and then carry on across this section. jump down and grab the treasure. Oh, what do you know? We have a better weapon for Gilo already. However, all these weapons has one flaw. Because Gilo has such good natural offense, his weapons are generally worse than everyone else's. I mean, he's still doing more damage than them, but... It's... I don't know. Kinda sad. Anyway, I'm gonna end the part off here because... If I remember right, the moment we leave this save point, we have a few enemies and then a really annoying boss battle. So, I guess I'll see you guys for that.